everyone, and this week I want to talk to you about where I find all of my Disney clothes. I'm going to let you in on my secrets, so here we go. So my first shop where I get probably more than half of my Disney clothes is not going to surprise you. It's Hot Topic. Hot Topic all day every day for the win. They have so much Disney stuff now and it wasn't always like that. They used to have a couple tank tops, a couple t-shirts, and now they have everything. Jewelry, t-shirts, you, you name it, Hot Topic has it. And I love it so much. And another one that's very similar to Hot Topic is Box Lunch. That's kind of a newer store but they have so much Disney stuff too. So those are my top two picks for finding Disney clothes. One of my first shirts Hot Topic. They used to do only tank tops. They even have some obscure old movies like Dumbo. It's also where I get a lot of my Marvel stuff. And Star Wars. A lot of my Marvel and Star Wars at Hot Topic as well. The next place I want to mention is the obvious. Disneyland and the Disney Store. Both have exclusive Disney things like their spirit jerseys. I finally found my spirit jersey. Hocus Pocus at the Disney store, but they are very expensive. It's the price you pay for Disney. We all know Disney's expensive, so if you want the exclusive stuff at Disneyland, you're gonna have to pay the price. But my secret is the kids section. I got this shirt from the kids section, and this is a extra large, and I'm normally a medium, so I got an extra large in this. It's like half the price of the adult shirts, so if you find a kids shirt that you like, just goes three sizes up. It's like more than half the price. Of course at Disneyland you're gonna find all the stuff with actually say Disneyland on them. I also shop in the guys section and I go a size down or two. So this is kind of a small but I wear this one bigger. But their t-shirts are great too and they're soft and anyways. So the Disneyland, Disney Store, obvious. My next not so obvious and reasonably priced is Target and Kohl's. Those are the two, like this shirt is from Kohl's. I thought this was appropriate to wear for this. They have a lot of variety of things and it changes a lot and sometimes they're harder to find but Target and Kohl's always have something. A lot of saying ones, like they always have these fun saying on them that go with Disney stuff. And Kohl's carries her universe so I got this May the Force be with you. Lots of Star Wars. Um, if you don't know what her universe is, it's kind of a line specifically for girls about fandoms. And a lot of the times it's Star Wars. She does a lot of the dresses that are you see on Dapper Day. Um, she has stuff at Hot Topic. It's a great line. Her universe. Go check it out. And also, Forever 21. Super cheap. Super random. You never know what you're gonna find there, but they did a collab with Pixar recently and I got a couple pieces of that. They always have some sort of sweatshirt. From classic Mickey to Alice in Wonderland, like you never know what you're gonna get there. They always have something. I've also found hats. You can get hat, dad hats. Lots of dad, Disney dad hats at Forever 21. My new favorite piece from Forever 21 I finally found the Mickey Mouse overalls that everybody's wearing on Instagram. Similar to Forever 21, H&M. I got a Mickey Mouse hat there, but they have sweatshirts, sometimes t-shirts, also very random. If you've been to the parks lately, you might have noticed a lot of girls wearing leggings and dresses and tops that kind of have funky Disney prints on them. That's LuLaRoe, and you can only get them through LuLaRoe representative sales but you just find them on Facebook, find them on Instagram, they're out there. But they have all these funky prints, villains, t-shirts, you've seen these in the parks, you know you have. But they have a ton of Disney stuff that are super comfortable to wear to the parks. One of my favorite collaborations with Disney clothes was Disney and Vans. I got so many shoes from Disney vans but they also made t-shirts backpacks and stuff but mostly it's all about the shoes but of course I always encourage you to support small businesses I have got t-shirts from shops like Walt's Wardrobe Lucky Rabbit Supply Company uh, Who's It's and What's It's of course but there are a ton of small shops out there 
that sell fun kind of subtle Disney stuff. So make sure you check them out too. Do not forget about the small businesses. Very important. And if you're wondering about my Disney jewelry, it's mostly Alex and Ani. I love their Disney stuff, but I also have a lot of old Disney couture stuff and they don't really make that anymore. Um, they do, but it's not like it used to be because it used to be really detailed and fun and funky and um, now it's just kind of simpler and kind of the same, not very exciting. But I have so many pieces from back in the day and I love to wear that kind of Disney jewelry. And I just found this new line called Keep Collective and they have Disney charms. I don't have anything to show you but because my stuff's on its way. So be on the lookout for that. I'll definitely be showing you guys that when I get it because I'm really excited. It's really cute stuff. And lastly, you don't have to buy new. There are sites like Poshmark, which I have recently subscribed to, where they I find a lot of vintage Disney stuff, Disney Park stuff, Disney bags, a lot of Danielle Nicole bags, um, pins I saw on there, but anyways, we're talking about clothes. So Poshmark is a good place to find slightly used things. Sometimes they're new. Um, eBay has always had vintage stuff, and the Goodwill. You can find stuff for like a dollar at the Goodwill, but you have to hunt, you have to dig, and you never know what you're going to get. But that's where you can find us some slightly used vintage Disney stuff. I have a few pieces from there as well, so Goodwill. Those are my secrets on where I get my Disney clothes. Disney clothes are almost everywhere now, but those are my personal favorites. If you guys have any questions about any shirts I ever wear, leave me a comment and I will tell you where I got it. I'm not shy about sharing where I get my stuff. I hope I've encouraged you all to go out there and find your own Disney t-shirts in all price ranges and all sizes and you show them off to the world. Proud Disney fan like me. So that's it from me for this week but make sure you subscribe and follow me on all my social media so that you can see all my Disney t-shirts. I make new videos every Thursday and I will see you guys next week.